Isaac, how are you? Hey, Isaac. Hey. Doing okay, Tammy. How are you doing? We're doing good. We're keeping our blood flowing so we can stay warm out here. <laughs> Oh, is it starting to cool off? It is. It is October now, so. Yes, it's cold. Getting a little bit yep, chilly. Yep. Um, How are you is, doing? Is, is, are you the one? I'm doing okay. Are you taking the calls now, or was I supposed to call Mickey? I know I was. Oh, you're live. Doing we're that. live. We're live. Okay. Okay. Awesome. Sounds good. Oh uh, yeah, I'm doing good. It, it was a. It was a really good day yesterday. I, I'm really glad to have some some good news for you guys. Uh, thanks to uh, Condemned USA and Trinus Evans, a, a huge shout out to them. I was able to get a new attorney. Um, he filed his retainer on Thursday. Um, it is Steve Metcalf, and he filed his retainer and showed up with me uh, to court yesterday. Um, and we got some, some, yeah, we got some really good news there. The judge uh, directed my attorney in pretrial to get a plan together and said if we can get a plan that will work for them, she uh, is willing to reconsider letting me out on bond. Oh, wow. And she said That'd I did great. for October 16th. October 16th. So I got three days before my birthday. So my prayer is oh, wow. that uh, we can get uh, the reconsideration filed um, within the next few days here. I know we have a, a planned call on, on Tuesday where we're gonna go over the final details and we're from the sounds of it, she's going to hear the motion on uh, on the 16th. Uh, once we have our status hearing, I'll, hopefully she'll go ahead and hear it then as well as the way she found it over the um, when we had the court hearing. Mm -hmm. And so um, hopefully she'll, re she'll release me on the 16th and I'll be out for my birthday. But even if not, I got a nice little, uh, you know, little birthday gathering we're going to have here. And it, honestly, it wouldn't, it couldn't be even more of a blessing to be able to, uh, to spend it with these guys as well so i definitely want to i'm excited to, to see my dog i mean i can't lie i really want to see my dog and my family but um you know uh, i know that one day that'll happen either way so um, well we're definitely going to be praying be for that to happen sooner rather than later isaac for sure yeah hey yeah, isaac thank you yeah this is, isaac hey yeah. it's helena i'm here too this is really good news and yes we're going to be praying for you um, I'm so pleased to hear that you finally got, uh, you know, something done and an attorney to represent you. At least set some stress off yeah. of you right now and that you can move to the next step. So this is really good news. Yeah. Yeah, thank you. And, um, and just real quickly, I want to address this uh, quickly as well. I, I've received a lot of letters from people that listen to the prayer vigil. And I want to say thank you all for them letters. I just, when we got commentary, I was able to get some stamps and some envelopes. So I, I've already sent one letter out today, and I plan to, to write a few people back. So just to, it's for anyone listening that uh, over the, the live streams that did send me a letter. Um, they didn't get lost in the mail. I have got those letters. It's been a huge blessing and very uplifting, and I'm going to try to have a letter back to each of you guys as soon as possible. Um, so I, I did get those, and it means a lot. Um, that's so, so sweet, that, that, that's awesome. You know, we yeah, really do so, um, have the yeah. best uh, watchers in the world. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, you know, you guys are doing something out there that, that takes a lot of courage and a lot of dedication, and it, and it really does mean a lot. So um, just to know you guys are like, I don't know, not that far, like, probably like 500 feet away from us. We, we used to be able, from what I heard, they used to be able to see you guys from the window yeah, um, yeah. when we were in the old pod, but, <laughs> but, um, but no, it does mean a lot to have you guys out there and um, to know that, that we're not forgotten and we have people that care is definitely a, a huge help. Um, so, you know, it, it, it's going good. I, I think that there has been uh, things in the pod that have, have been going well. We have been working very hard to um, to, to, stand, to stand together with each other, and I, I know it's, uh, there's a lot of crazy things going on right now in our life. All of our lives have been turned upside down. Um, so you know, I just ask that you guys continue to, to pray for uh, for everyone to be able to uh, have peace in here and to be able to um, to get through this together. I think it's really important that we all stand uh, with each other. And I, I've called for that from day one. I think it's uh, the prayers have definitely helped. I do think that we have been uh, 
been able to, to have a, a family like setting in here. I do think that it's, it's very important that we have that. And um, I think there's a lot of love in this pod. Every single one of us, every single night, uh, get together and we still sing, sing the anthem. And, um, you know, we, we, of course, all have our own situations and our own uh, chaotic uh, cases going on. But I think at the end of the day, uh, all of us know that we are still family. And I think that does mean a lot. And I'll just leave it at that. And um, I, I think we need to, to continue yeah. to treat each Isaac. other like, like. Nikki saying, Amen, Isaac, Amen. Yeah. Thank you, guys. And, uh, you know, it, it's God is going to take care of us. And I, I can tell you this our prayer books are working. The fact that I got an attorney for my court hearing is a miracle. I mean, I have a. The prosecutors are throwing all this. It's not even like serious stuff. They're just throwing all of this small stuff at me at one time. It just drives me and my attorneys absolutely crazy. Um, so the fact that we was able to get an attorney, um, I, I give all the credit to God, but I have to give a huge shout out to, to Condemned USA. I mean, Kenneth and, and Ashton and, and the guys at Condemned USA have really been a huge support. If, if the watchers get the chance, please visit their website. Condemned USA has posted a lot of um, a lot of material, a lot of uh, uh, exculpatory evidence for J6ers on their website. Uh, they have not asked me to say this, um, but they have not taken any money from me. And, you know, they're not asking us this, but I feel led that to give them a, a shout out because there is there's a lot of different organizations. A lot of them have done many things, but there's also quite a few who have done absolutely nothing. They've just grifted off of us. But Condemned USA has not done that. They have actually spent some of their own money just trying to help me and be there for me. So I want to thank them. There's uh, been no organization that's been there for me as much as them. And um, so they're, they're great people there. Please uh, look up their website and support them. And again, they, they didn't ask me to say that, but I do feel the need to. So I don't know where I would be at if it wasn't for, for Trenton Evans and, and his organization there. So. Uh, and, and you guys as well. I mean, it means a lot to, to have all of the viewers and the people that, that tune in to see the letters that they send me that, that shows that they're, they're not just having it playing on the TV somewhere in their house. They're actually watching and listening. They actually care. And um, I, I was able to get an attorney now that I believe isn't just in it for the money, but actually cares about our cause. Uh, I think Steve Metcalf will do a great job. I know he did an amazing job for Dominic Pozzola. And, and quite a few other January 6 attorneys. Um, and to, to see that I, you know, the amount of money we were able to put forward versus how good of an attorney he is, he could have requested 10 times as much and that still be considered low. And for him to be able to work with me uh, is a huge blessing. And I really believe that now that I have a good attorney who actually does care, um, I believe that we're going to be able to start putting a fight up and, and start calling out some of the BS that is coming from the prosecutors and the uh, pretrial services agency. Um, and, that, you know, of course, people advise me not to say anything about it because they want me to be able to get out and on. Maybe these words are what are going to stop me because I've continued to do interviews for quite a bit of time. This is a tangled new court that we are in. They don't like us saying that, but this is a total illegitimate uh, dirty court that we are in, and we have to stand up and say it like it is. Uh, we cannot continue to, to shut up and to push all the line. These people are illegitimate. These are establishment-funded judges, prosecutors, and free trials that are taking our tax dollar money uh, to line their own pockets and, and introduce communism to our country. So we need people to stand up now more than ever against that. Call your representatives. Call the House of Representatives. Uh, luckily, I want to give a huge shout out to, to Congressman Matt Gates and the 18th, the eight congressmen and women that, that stood up and voted out this, uh, this disgusting speaker, Kevin McCarthy. And I want to make it very clear they have brought up things from the border uh, all the way to the, to the Ukraine funding, which are huge things that we need to address immediately. But uh, they, there's been a few like Matt Gates who have also been very firm on the weaponization of the federal government. We need you guys to call and remind them of that. I hear a lot about the border security and a lot about the Ukraine funding. I don't hear as much about the January Sixers that are sitting in here. And so we need you guys to keep calling, keep on getting with these people and letting them know that they have to stand firm. And whoever is the next uh, representative, whether it be Jim Jordan or Donald J. Trump, 
um, and ho hopefully not Steve Scalise, but if it is, uh, we need people to be making sure that they know they have to stand up and, and defund these people and what they're doing to us. Because every day that goes by, it gets, it gets uh, more and more agonizing, and, and, and it uh, really is a shame to our country. I, I love our country, but I, I despise the current government that we have, or if they even can call themselves the government anymore at this point, it's a communist regime, and we need to defund them. Stop using our tax dollars to pay for this nonsense. Uh, I was reading the American Gulag Chronicles the other day, and I came across a letter that Jessica Watkins had wrote, and I asked you guys to please go and read that letter. It, it, I really felt touched by that letter to see that they talked that they talked about the the uh, how our money, our tax dollars, are being used to destroy our own country, and that we have a say in that. Every American citizen has the right to speak up and say no. And it doesn't matter how much fear they put in you. Um, or how much they try to call you out, you have an, an, a right, not just a right, a responsibility to speak up against these people because they are using, uh, the, they are weaponizing our government at the expense of the tax, the tax paying all abiding American citizens in this country. Um, so we need to speak up against that. Uh, continue to trust in God, continue to pray. Jesus Christ is the only hope that we have. Uh, read the Bible. I, I can tell you what, I've had a lot of time on my hands right here. I'm making a lot of calls to a lot of different people. I've been doing interviews, but my favorite thing is every single night, I try to take a little bit of time and I try to read the, the Word again. Even if it's just two chapters, I try to sit down and read the Word because it gives me uh, a peace, it gives me a comfort. And the, the Bible talks about the times that we are in right now. It talks about everything that is happening and, and the, the, uh, the perversion that we see in our government and the, the, the reality that they have twisted into their own false agenda and we need to speak up against these people and we need to, to read God's word and be prepared because Jesus Christ is coming back soon and, and I want to call out everyone to repent. I, I was never somebody who would go and stand at the bus stations and, uh, and you know with the signs telling people to repent but I'll tell you when I get out of here I look forward to it because I never realized how deep of a hole our country is in. The, the devil is coming after people's souls. A lot of these people in the government and, the, and that work with the establishment, they have given up their souls in return for money and housing and power, but that will not last. All of those, the, the money, the money will not be buried in their graves with them. The, the power, the position that they claim that they have, it will not go with them to the grave. They need to be worried about their soul, and they need to give their soul to Jesus Christ so that they can be free uh, individuals for the rest of eternity. Otherwise, they're going to have this, per this perception of freedom here on this earth, but in reality, they are slaves uh, to the devil and to hell, and they it will not go over well for them. Uh, when God comes back, and even before that, because right now we have an entire movement of millions and millions of God-loving uh, American patriots who are ready to stand up for this country and willing to do what, if, whatever it takes to stand up for this country. We do not want violence. We do not want war. Um, but they have to start doing the right thing. Our representatives have to repent. They are pushing our country into World War III. They are pushing our country into a revolutionary war. Of course, none of us want that. I am not promoting that, but that's what they are pushing. They are killing our children. You have one minute remaining. And until we decide to speak up and say enough is enough, nothing is going to happen. The power is in the hands of the American people. You guys have all the tools. Our founders were very smart, godly men. They gave us the tools we need to speak up. So I ask that we do that. I love you guys. Thank you for the time uh, to be able to speak tonight. Uh, continue to pray that God will let us solve this in a peaceful but assertive way. Pray for our President Donald J. Trump. Um, and, and pray that he can get this stuff fixed. Pray for the speaker's race. Pray for each and every J6 so that it's being held hostage by the Biden regime. And lastly, but, and not least, pray for the Biden regime that God will convict these people uh, so that they can repent. God bless you guys. And thank you for everything. We love you, Isaac. We love you, Isaac, all the way. Thank you, guys. Yeah, we love you too, guys. Love you, Isaac. You guys have a great night. You too. Stay warm out there. God bless. God bless you.